In this video, we're going to find the region common to the two circles, R1 is equal to negative 2 sine theta, and R2 is equal to 1. And we're going to use this formula, area is equal to the integral from A to B of 1 half F of theta squared to find the area, it's D theta as well. All right, so the first thing we need to do is figure out what these graphs look like. Okay, so I have, I have written out a table here that shows for R1, um, all the values between zero and pi over two. Okay, so what what I want you to notice in this in this problem is that uh, from zero to pi is the same graph at for this as it is from pi to two pi. Now these values may not look the same, but notice that they're the same except different signs, right? So for pi over six or seven pi over six, you get you know negative one here or one here. For pi over 4, you get negative square root of 2. For 5 pi over 4, you get square root of 2. Okay, so the reason I'm saying this is the same graph is because, like, look at this. We have pi over 6. Okay, so pi over 6 is in this general direction, right? Okay, but since it's a negative 1, that means that it goes in the negative direction. So since pi over 6 normally goes in this direction, and it would go out to, to 1 if it were 1. But it actually, since it's a negative, it goes out here, okay? To, to 1. So pi over 6 direction, but negative r makes it go this way, which is the same point on the graph as 7 pi over 6, which is actually all the way around to here. So 7 pi over 6 is already in this direction, and it's got a positive one. Okay, so pi over 6, comma, negative 1 is the same point as 7 pi over 6, comma, 1. And it's true for all these, pi over 4, and the negative square root of 2 is the same thing as 5 pi over 4 with a positive square root of 2. Okay, so you can get the entire graph. You're actually going to, to draw the entire graph twice if you go from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so the reason I bring that up is because we can, we can get away with just looking at this part to see the whole graph, which comes in handy when we're trying to find the area between these two curves. Okay, so as we, as we start, we're going to use this one only. Okay, so the pi direction is 0, so or, or r is equal to 0, so that's in the middle. And then 7 pi over 6, comma 1, so we're going to, to go somewhere like right here. And then the 5 pi over 4, comma square root of 2 goes right here. So we're going to be making this circle that has a radius of 2, and its center is going to be right here. Okay, so you can plot all these points and plot them exactly, and you can get the graph. It looks like this. And my circle is not going to be great, but not too bad. All right, so there's the graph of R1, which is negative 2 sine theta. So both of these look like this. So from 0 to pi looks like this, and from pi to 2 pi also looks like this. So we're just going to focus on pi to 2 pi. All right, for the other one, the R2, R2 is equal to 1. Okay, that's a circle centered at the origin with radius 1. Okay, so that circle is going to look like this. Okay, so again, not a great circle, but you get the idea. So we're trying to find uh, the area that is common to both of these. Okay, so we're looking for, we're looking for this area inside here, right? So we find their intersection points. We'll find those in a second. Those are right there. But notice that if, we, if we're just looking at the second circle, the, the uh, negative 2 sine theta, the one down here, as we, as we take that circle from 7 pi over 6 to um, from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6, we're missing this little area in here. Okay, so that little area in there has to be taken care of, and that's where we're going to use. Uh, that's where we're going to use the negative 2 sine theta because on this circle right here, r2 is equal to 1. If we just take out this little triangle of this, of this circle right here, we're missing this little piece and this little piece in there, right? Okay, so, the, so from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6 is what we're going to find. We'll find those in a second. Um, 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. That gets this part in between this circle. Okay, but we need to figure out this as well, which means we're going to have to use this circle from pi, which is 0, 
to 7 power over 6, we're going to be looking at this circle with the sine. And from 11 power over 6 all the way back to 2 pi, we're also going to be using the negative 2 sine function. For everything in between, we'll be using this function, 1. Okay. So let's let's set that up. So the first thing that we want to do is, like I said, we need to find those intersection points. I said they were 7 power over 6 and 11 power over 6. Let's figure out how I got that. So negative 2 sine theta equals 1. We're finding their intersection, right? So I move that over. So sine theta is equal to negative 1 half. And if you look at your unit circle, that will happen at theta is equal to 7 power over 6 and 11 power over 6. Okay, so those are the intersection points. Okay, so Going back to the circle, we're going to set up three integrals. The first integral is going to be of the sine function. And it's going to be from here to here of that sine function, right? The stuff that's missing out of this one. So this little area from pi to 7 pi over 6 will give us this little chunk of the graph right here. Okay, so that will be our first integral. So set it up from pi to 7 pi over 6 of the here's the formula one half f of theta squared so one half times negative two sine theta squared d theta okay so that gives us that that little this little swath right here is what we just found okay now this triangle in between right here will be this function Okay, and, and it'll be from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6. That will get all this stuff in between right here. Okay, so plus from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6 of 1 half times 1 squared d theta. Again, we're using this formula right here. Okay, and then finally, we need to get this other little swath here, this little piece right here. Okay, so that'll go from 11 pi over 6 all the way back to 2 pi. Okay, so it will be 11 pi over 6 to 2 pi of 1 half times negative 2 sine theta squared d theta. Okay, so that's how we set that one up. Uh, let's work through it real quick. Okay, so the first thing I would do is go ahead and square this and multiply the half. So you get uh, pi to 7 pi over 6. Square it becomes a 4. Divide by 2 it becomes a 2. So 2 sine squared theta, d theta. Um, this one becomes from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6, uh, just a half, d theta. And then this one becomes the same as this, okay, except different limits. So 11 pi over 6 to 2 pi of 2 sine squared theta d theta. Okay. Um, okay, so the, the integral of, of sine squared theta is theta over 2 minus sine 2 theta um, over 4. Okay, so you can, you can find another video if you want to figure out how to work that one out. I have one on YouTube. Um, so this will be equal to 2 times theta over 2 minus sine 2 theta over 4 from pi to 7 pi over 6 plus the half here just gets a theta. So 1 half theta from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6 and then plus this again the same so 2 times theta over 2 minus sine 2 theta over 4 uh, from 11 pi over 6 to 2 pi okay and I'm not going to go through all this. this is this is integrated all you have to do now is plug in the limits so I'm not going to go through all of that but I will tell you it will come down to if you want to work it out yourself it's it should come down to 2 pi over 3 minus square root of 3 over 2 will be your final answer.